Okay, should we come to YouTube? Also, in case you're wondering why there's no sound, it's, it's just there's no sound here. Yeah, it's just there's no sound all over this game at the moment. So, yeah, kind of odd. And then we are at the same time. Okay. Anyway, my. There's a doing show. Okay, there's a sound. As you can see. Hang on, I'm gonna add something. I just want to show you where I put it. There it is. Why do they always make me so big? Uh, how do you put this? As you can see from this, the game progress, I'm almost completed. It means I'm, this is as far as the story goes until the next update where they add more story. Kind of like Honkai Star World and, and Genesis and Pac. So, yeah. Well, first I'm going to do this over here. Hide it. And let's just head back to game. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm literally almost in. Maybe I shouldn't continue this longer than last time, but meh. Nah. Anywho, I think I forgot the intro. Anywho, this is not for a second. Welcome back to my stream. And, yeah, let's just finish this. Not surprising, Pearl and Miss Scape caused quite a buzz on the internet. Ask about the Outer Ring. The Outer Ring. Sacrifice. What exactly is it? You mostly without even realizing it. Probably because you were exhausted. Looks like all the important matters has come to an end. I feel like things have only just begun, though. You look like you still got unfinished business to do. Don't worry, our proxy business isn't going to end here. Really? Well, as long as you keep upgrading your internet level, you'll land a stack of new jobs. And if we cozy up to some other agents in the industry, they might just be able to recommend some more jobs for us. Not to mention all the exciting stuff there is going on in the city. The three side events. We can go search all of those. Let's enjoy the freedom of life. Yeah, we. Yeah, and we'll keep working hard for each other. Okay. Okay. Do. Hmm. Do like. Like Hans agent story. Okay, I can cry for those for those camera. Arena. Oh, hang on, why am I not hearing any sound? Let me check something. Options.
Uh, okay, that still sounds strange. It's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is driving me crazy. Hearing the left, not down the left side. Did I damage the earbuds? Or maybe it's just my PlayStation. Uh, give me a sec, I just need to fix something. Okay, let me plug in my controller and see if it's just... No, you can hear because when I plug it into my. Eh, it sounds kind of what's going on. Like, basically, when I plug my controller into my. the headphones to my controller, it cuts off the audio. Here. Okay, I got something that's longer. Hopefully, this will last. Oh, right. I can't lower the farming on these.
Oh, it's on the headphones for her. Hey. Also, if I bring these because I'm... Should be able to use them. Okay, so my earbuds I've been using to hear is the left. I can't hear anything out the left side. Which is terrific. Okay, let me do the video archives. Rain and then there's light guns. Okay, I'll just start with this one. One day, very suddenly reports an email from Grace, the head of technician at Bellabox Industries. The email is about an important commission that required Phaeton's help. From the tone of Gray's message, it sounds quite urgent. Later, later at the entrance of the Barrent, Barrent Street construction site. Oh, there, this area is currently under construction. Only staff member can enter. I'm here for Grace. So they're looking for Grace. I don't think I've been told there's are any guests coming today. Just a moment. Let me contact her. The bear, the the calm bear works worker turns to face the construction, try and takes a deep breath. Then, Grace, are you expecting any guests? At the moment, a familiar figure quickly approaches the gate. Open the door. Oh, and remember who this person looks like. This is a perm partner of Bellabock. If you ever see her in the future, you can just let her in. Hey, you're finally here. I'm sorry, but I need to take this call. I'll be waiting for you on the high rack. Grace leaves the entrance in a hurry. The guard bear opens the door respectfully and gestures to welcome her. There are changes to the plan. How about our collateral plans? Grins is being on the phone. Oh, sorry for keeping you away. I'll be done soon. New partners? What do you mean? Guy. So we all have to bid for it, right? Sure, let's keep in touch. Sorry for the way. It's okay. Hey! It's been quite a while. Last time we met was when you helped us with our runaway heavy machinery, right? It's been ages, Grace. <laughs> have you been these days? Isn't it tough working all those commissions? You have to take good care of yourself. No overtime, you hear me? Huh? Grace, when did you become so considerate? Oh, actually, every time I see you, I find it incredibly soothing. This might seem a bit out of the blue, but can I please have a hug? Huh? Hang on. Let me get mentally prepared for that. Sorry, I can't help it. Never know if the hug would be as warm and as and gentle as you imagine. This day you get to hear your sip, your sip familiar voice. You can open your eyes, Belle. Grace is hugging Eos. <laughs> this round little body, these dangly ears. <laughs> its hardware has been modified, right? It's mechanical inside, but so soft and fluffy at the same time. <laughs> it's a crime to be so cute. I love it so much. <sighs> so she was talking to Eos the whole time. No wonder she asked us to bring it. Still the same, always preferring machines to people. Huh? Oh, the other proxy is here too. <laughs> Hello there. 
Hi, Grace. No offense. Here's a tissue. We'd rather keep Eos's head saliva free. Once we find, once we finish. Why is this an option? And why did I select it? About the details first. We'll get to pet it some more later. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'll bring the and I was. I let my work habits take over. As for the commission, hey, don't you run away, little one. Seizing the chance, Eos can escape from Grace's arm while she's dragged and races back to the real, to its real master. <sighs> Happiness is always fleeting. Oh, forget it. Let's get back to the commission then. <laughs> so that time we dealt with the runaway machinery I mentioned a bit ago, thanks to Phaethon, Bellabog eliminated the potential threat to the project. My sweet pea, uh, our president also got <laughs> to let go of some emotional baggage. So it was a really positive outcome overall. But if we instead turn our gaze to the company's balance sheet, we've actually suffered heavy losses. I see. Although Bell managed to get all three machines back, that monster showed up out of nowhere and absorbed them all. Yep. We, uh, ended up losing the three machines originally allocated to the project. And despite unexpectedly retrieving the prototype, we haven't been able to put it to practical use yet. So... To make up for the loss of those children, Bellabog Industries has agreed to cooperate with the industry leader Three Gates Corp on a small project. We'll provide some technical documents in exchange for some of their heavy machinery assets. And for this commission, we'll also need your support in awakening the prototype's logic core, which contains the data we want to exchange. Um, what about that call just now? Ah, that's someone from Three Gates saying that another company is also looking to partner up with them. They'll probably end up using the one offering higher technological value. <sighs> it's no big deal. Anyway, the ins and outs of this commission are all there. We'll go along with your preferred style of cooperation. We're counting on you, Phaethon. You say that with a straight face, but you're already reaching out to pet Eos. Uh, apparently I can't talk to Eos. I'll just check it out. So I'm still in ninety six. Okay, ice in ether. Awaiting further instructions. Mm, ready for combat. It's our turn. Bro Need something? My services are expensive. Ready and waiting. Nothing to fear. I have two time for some. Awaiting for me. Come on. It's a good day, proxy. Huh? My friend Chelsea and Mesh saying Rachel Lee Lee is the English voice actor for Misty and Jasmine from Pokemon passed away from cancer. Wow. I 
Yeah, there's really some. Yeah, it's. Touch me. Good day. Huh? Touch me. Awaiting. Time for some child care. Ready and waiting. Needs. Awaiting for nothing. Come on, let's get to work. The prototype's logic core is old and uses a ton of energy. So, I've retrofitted this kid with an ether storage battery. I need your help gathering enough energy for it. I'll flag any energy carrying etheric material. All good? I'm counting on you. Whoa! That little guy up ahead! Is that child just wandering around in the hollow? Master, a small, obsolete transport vehicle has been discovered. The routing information in its core database will be useful in expanding possible exploration paths. Everly retrieved her tool from her belt and began examining the machinery. Soon locating the data source. Tinkering adjustment by Craze, the transportation machine that was supposed to be scrapped is now operating once again. As Grace watched the little robot stands up and enters the standby mode, a look of satisfaction lights up her face. Great, now let's get now let's get and move on. See ya, little guy. May we meet again. Totally repaired and so easily. Impressive. Wow, it just rammed that ethereal. Is it trying to help us? Closing in on it. We gotta stop it. Warning: multiple ether signals detected. It like the <coughs> enemies. Is it just me, or is the ground moving? That's that's a lot of ethereals. Be careful. See what else I can use around here. Well done. Energy storage approaching maximum. Nearly there. It's mimicking their, my movement. I'm getting corruption warnings on the controller. We'd better work fast, Faithen. Wow, that one's powerful. Wait, what are you doing, little guy? Oh, thank you. That's the last of the energy. Energy collection is almost finished. Nice. Finally. All charged up. Okay. Warning. Abnormal ether reaction detected. That's not good.
Wait! Don't run away! I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Move to plan B! Okay, time to fight. Initial impulse. Hi. You asked for it. Feel the heat. The pleasure's all yours. Last power test. For my babies. I'm here. <laughs> Every effort counts. The defenses are still holding strong, but there is no sign of. Uh. Be careful. New ethereals keep appearing within the detection range. Never slows down. There is no signs of at a batting from from either the invading etherals or the rampaging heavy machine base. I can put this back in my own. Grace, are you done troubleshooting? Emergency removal of control permissions is still in progress. Give me a bit more time. Warning. Ether activity rapidly accelerating. Speculation. A particularly large ethereal unit, or a large group of ethereals, is approaching. Master, have a guess. Now is not a good time to be joking, Fairy. Bell, can you convince Grace to get out of here? 
Detecting permission ownership, processing the switch, disabling cloud invocation, matching admin keys. Almost there. Almost. Grace, watch out. Oh. Dragon and noise tear through the air. That was the sound of a heavy cannon? Who's attacking? Can these things slow down? A streak of noise is tear through the air besides Grace, firing debris dust to stop the oddly shaped monsters advancing. Warning. Unknown individuals approaching. The breeze hollow bullets hits the helpless enemies who fall to find fail to find cover, and with an with an almighty crackling sound suppress suppressions, and drives away all of the Orioles present. Is this a modded Guardian Mark II tactical mech? A what? Oh wow, you can uh, tell it's modded with just one look. Seems like you're not completely off your game, Grace Howard. Who are you? The Ethereals won't stay subdued for long. Let's talk outside the hollow. You know her? So each story I get 180. A short while later, in a safety zone out of the hollow. Hollow evacuation successful. Are you alright? I'm fine. What about you, Grace? I'm good, but what about Grace? Is she all right? Well, despite a few hiccups, the troubleshooting is all done. Ah, oh, fiddling around with machines while surrounded by monsters. Good to see that your morbid determination has never changed. Oh, right! I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you so much for reaching out to help despite all that danger. Mmm, thanking people, huh, that's a marked improvement. I've seen others similar to you, but you're truly one of a kind. Finally, a compliment from you? Eh, better late than ever, I guess. Hmm, the more I look at you, the more beautiful your curves are, and the sheer power you contain. Eh, uh, she's talking about the machine, not her, is she? Wait up. Flattery's one thing, but I think you've gone a little too far. Uh, I think I know what's going to happen next. This may be weird, but... Can I please pet you? What the... Are, are you crazy? How could you ask something so rude? I mean, just a handshake would have been fine, but... I'm sorry, I just can't help it. Just hang on, let me get mentally prepared for that. And Panic's stealing herself from what's coming, but Grace passes her like nothing and goes directly to the lake with... Mac. Does this coating give additional insulation to the hull? Oh, and I bet the power supply inside is being upgraded too, right? I can hear it just humming with power, grunting. I love it. I <laughs> just the machine. I knew she was going from the machine, not her. Uh, it appears our savior is paralyzed. If I'm not mistaken, she's also shivering. Her face looks so red. Belle, should we go comfort her? Oh, I thought you changed at least a little bit, but I was majorly wrong. You're still infatuated with machines and ignoring people around you. The frosty cold iron witch, Grace Howard. Mm hmm? You're this kid's mechanic? Pleased to meet you. Your child is really powerful. Ugh, shut up! We've known each other for ages. It's just you never took me seriously because of your twisted values. Oh. Huh? We know each other. But I can hardly remember seeing such a cool modded guardian mech like this before. Could you help refresh my memory? I am talking about me. Let go of my work, you mecha addict.
Don't you mean Iron Witch? Sorry, habits of the trade. Could you please tell me your name? Oh, or tell me about this kid's corpus data. Hm. As expected, you really don't remember me. That's fine. I'll just have to mercilessly beat you in a tech battle. Beat me in a tech battle? Oh, you're the second technological partner Three Gates mentioned, right? Yes, I, Betty Brenda, am your opponent. And I will beat you in this bid. It'll be a total humiliation for you and Bellabog. Layer, branch, street construction shy, you got ales back. Many back safely and sound. Thanks to your guidance, the kid has now calmed down. I think she's okay. I didn't see any injuries. I'm asking if you're okay with her. Didn't she say she was your rival in the bidding, in the bidding process? And she seems to know you. Who knows? Can't remember much of it. Compared to her, I'm more concerned about my kid's logical core. If the awakening in the hollow went well, I shall be able to track Dale from the logical now. Let's call it a day. You can take your heels home. I'll examine the hall when I get back. I'll get in touch with you guys if I have any updates or needs your help again. Grace Gates returns to the machine the moment she says goodbye. Thank you for so much for Speaking of which, the mechanic who came to our aid in the... I can't even read this fast. Why does it say EOS? Okay, I think there's something I want to address to their- Because it says e EOS. Oh wait, is that a group chat name? I thought it was EOS. I got confused. And also, it's going to pass. I also need to use the restroom. I'll be back.
I'm back. Oh. Why have I got this thing real loud? We can do it. Thank you so much for. Okay, let me reread this a little. Burr. Hello. And thank you for helping us. Thank you for the so falling and helping us ready to go. Okay, let me change this from. We get 75 this time. Okay, and how's life train you? Hang in. I can do this. Hmm. Thank you so much for your help. Speaking of which, the mechanic who came up came to our aid in that crucial moment. I think her name was Betty. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I was just sticking around and saw the name Betty Branda on the roster at the Rosa Institution of Technology. She's in the same year as me. Cool place, huh? It's normal at school that size not remembered to remember anyone. I found a group photo of our research team and realized she was actually my classmate. Classmate, then you must have mustn't have been close. Or otherwise you remember. I looked up the research lot of my graduate photo and found out she was actually on my research team. Uh, the same team. Then I checked the institution dorm dormitory records and discovered we live in the same dorm the whole time. You really messed up, Grace. This is your fault, Grace. Putting aside the fact you were schoolmates, you were classmates, and even doormates, you shouldn't have forgot them. Put yourself in her shoe. It's completely understandable for Bay to be upset, even angry. Uh, so you think it's my fault too? Sleepy said the same thing. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, am I quite... Let me move this out of the way. How about now? Am I more clearer? Let me set some things. I need to put this in my ear and then go to my twit. Try it on my phone to see how am I hearing compared to. Okay, let me see here now. Okay. I'm doing okay. Testing, 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 testing. Hmm, it still sounds the same even with this in front. So why am I keeping it muffled? Hmm. Hmm. I'm doing okay, just front. I'm just gonna do extra kiss. I think I got all the story done in this game so far. And yet this is made by Hoya first, the same people who make Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. There's gonna be more story added to it in the next <clears throat> excuse me, in the next update, which is gonna be soon. Either tomorrow or the day after. And I'm also trying to grind for these similar things to the Wish Orbs from Genshin Impact and the Stellar Jays from Honkai Star Rail. I'm trying to get these little films, I forgot what they're called, to get some roll well, because I still don't got genuine. Anywho, it couldn't be helped. Rosa Institution of Technology is the holy land of mechanical engineer with the thousands of fascinating mechanical pro prototypes in there. I don't even have enough time to get to know all the kids there. How could I have energy left over for socializing? Anyway, I'll pi apologize to Pei next time I see her. Now talking to Weiss. 
Not Grace's currently obsession with machinery was extreme. Little did I know, she used to even crazier. She used to be even crazier about them. Her former classmate has turned into a rival. That's awkward. I hope we n never need to experience things like that. Race is special. Hm. No. Dang it! I, I woke up when I actually hit the button. She's always the tech director of Bellbot Industries at such young age. She's indeed a genius mechanic. Her commission isn't over yet. Let's work with her when she made progress in her research. In the meantime, we can attend to other matters first. And leave the story. I know that when you were off screen, your screen display would be right back. When I make better use of it and apply more design. I'm just, right now, just using that for now. I'll add more than change it up later. New episode grades, the Iron Witch 2 is now available. Okay, I think I got a commission. Yeah, here we go. That's amazing idea relate to your stream if you want to hear out. I'm good. Okay, physical, so Ready for combat. Wait, what level do I need? To help grow more audience. I'll keep that in mind. Standing by. Yeah. Need Touch. Come on. Need some. I have Nothing ready and waiting. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in. Talking over the noise mix both from the game and controller. Dear Master, the time we're this time we're going to infiltrate the building and take the Famous painting, Gentlemen with a Bang Boo. Jason, based on the based on the fan of Thief, Module Aubrey, it is your recommend that you post your post your own morning. Ethereals and the Ballet Twins. Tonight is designed to be a sleepless night. Now please follow the I'm trying to use that.
I need a key. Okay, switching to Pyramel, going to Fairy. Insane again, and I play full of mine.
lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. Oh, come on. Get his throne and moor it here. the infrared camera. this again. Oh. Okay. Guess I didn't see the other. Okay, let's try this again. get through all that nightmare. Disable the MP. Mm. 
and disable the EMP. Okay, let me check this out. Oh, okay, so it's... Okay, I see. Anytime I find this monster. Maneuver. The pleasure's all yours.
Okay, let me activate this. Going back up. He has the last one. Well, the buy you want is the buy you'll get. Sorry, I need a bell in my ear. Please decide what to do next. Time to leave. I gotta be the story, but at least a story can get. I do get some from achievement.
Ooh, I got... <laughs> yes, I got the one that gets me... Does polychromo. So they'll go polychrome. 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 Got me right. Sweetness all the more satisfying. Morbin here, need to level up Billy. Oh, it's for the. Uh, it's for this? Yeah. Yeah, I've got to look at these more specifically. Hey, anyway, let's get into the fight. I got within the minute or two range. Yep, that's right. Now I just need to increase to something else. This. I'll use this. I 
for charge. Oh. <laughs> I wanna play this for this. Yep. This won't hurt. Not. Don't mess up my nails. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Yeah! I did it all within within a minute. Okay, that's done. Let me just go in. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Ready and waiting. Need something? Starlight, it's time to shine. Finally. Claim. Get you to 35. I have two guns. It's our turn, bro. Same thing with you, 35. Need some of you. And a few of you. Come on, let's get to work. Start is head made Rena at your service. Ugh, you never ride for you. One, two, yes. All accounted for. Okay, now let me hit here. The shop. One. This I guess five. Okay. Oh, I'm one short. Lovely. Now I like it did this. No luck. They had three A's, and they're all main dude. Okay. Wrong button. Let me, let me check if there's any requests I could do in here. I know there's a few. Oh, it's night. Okay. This is a shortcut. I'm used to some bunk command from other games, like Akisaro or etc. Where the sprint is the R1, and the menu is probably triangle, or unless I'm thinking of something else, maybe Pokemon, maybe. Uh, I can't be the only one who's thinking this. Black cat. It looks really, really alert. Watch from afar. The little cat tells his head, gives you a curious glance, and then limps nimbly in the corner. I just gained trust from a black cat. If you need anything modded. You know where to find me. Ingrid you, upgrade you. Oh, this new no, might as well level you. Might as well level you up a bit. Crap. 
Okay, just new, but I can upgrade you. And max you out. What can you do again? Come find me anytime. I'll be here. Greetings. What can I get for you? Oh, false. Okay, now I see this, but. Hmm. Sometimes stopping to take a break can help you go. Oh, further. wait, don't I can only do a copy per day? Check out the menu, you name it, I make it. Hmm. <laughs> Finished all your bra. Want some more? Okay, I think I'll do more stories since I'm a little short. Uh. Do the Iron Witch campaign. One day after accepting Grace's commission in the parking lot of Brandon Playfield store on 6th Street, Junus Quarters, New Eridu, today's the day or an important family event. Repairing the business car in truth, only one of the siblings is actually repairing while the other one is resting. Attention, you have received an email from Grace How Howard, the head of te te technician at Bell Park Industries. Pause the music for car repairs to broadcast the content of the email. <clears throat> Wise, Belle, this is Grace. Are you too free by any chance? I've already extracted enough data from the logic core. We're now ready for the next phase. I need your help with something, but this time is kind of special. I don't need Faden to make, make an appearance, just you two. If you're free, we can meet up at the old spot. Brent. Brennan Street construction site. Email ends. Drafting replay. Drafting reply. I'll think I'll pass. Today is an important day. We need to repair our car. See you next time. Please say send if you wish to send this reply. Let's go. Later, the siblings arrive at the Brennan Street construction site without incident. You arrive at the destination. The watch mech emits a low tumor thrum, as if in anticipation of guests arriving, a familiar figure in overhauls greets you with a smile. Hello, you two. You're quick. What about the little one? We didn't bring Eos because we're not heading into any hollows. We let it rest during these types of commissions. Uh, too bad. If I'd known, I'd have come up with an excuse to make you bring him along. Yeah, I'm playing back on autos. Not even trying to hide your actual goal, are you? The large screen next to her steps back and forth. But Good kid. Don't worry. These two aren't the bad guys. Okay, you know what? I'm not playing auto all because of something like that shows up and can get fully read because it's going too fast. Ugh. The large machine next to her sets back and forth to one side, seemingly restless. The logic core that was awakened last time. Have you tried booting it up? Any issues? Don't worry. 
worry, it's only partially booted for now. After the last troubleshooting session, I've managed to fully filter out the data and divert control of basic functions away from the dangerous infected data. Now I just have to wipe any sensitive data left behind regarding the prototype, and it'll be ready for the delivery to Three Gates. Barry, can you help with clearing the sensitive data? Negative. All logic cores that pass the forbidden fruit test, i.e., the core systems of AI-enabled machinery, are incompatible with my protocols. Forced intervention can have unforeseen consequences. Also, I prefer not to interact with ether-corrupted data. It's rare to see her retreat from a request like this. Fairy, why would you refuse to access data corrupted by ether? I've prepared ten disgusting metaphors to explain it to you. Which would you like to hear first? Note, human tolerance is limited to about ten on the disgust scale. What's the score of the least disgusting one? Eleven. How about we get back to the commission? This commission doesn't require your faith in disguise. You two alone can handle it. I'm gonna debug this kid's cognitive command system. Only a few basic protocols are needed to set up a link between commands and its behavior. Put simply, I'll issue commands like go left, go right, touch this, touch that, and you'll need to follow my instructions in front of it so that it understands the connection between the commands and the actions. Once cognition is established, act out the commands from the kid to help solidify it. It's like teaching a toddler how to crawl or stand up. Got it? I'll run some system tests on this baby first. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, I think I'm gonna go near now. One step of cognitive tuning is to call up calibrate command function for this child to make sure he's receiving accurate commands. Basically, all you have to do is touch either a one box or a mail bucket, and you'll recognize the ion, and then send the corresponding signal back to my control terminal. The child to agree to return to a rest signal. Know when a box is detected, and a green signal for a bucket. You know, the most complicated systems often start with the simplest intentions. Now it's your turn. Just touch that box, just touch a box or the bucket. Touch it and it's wreck. The bucket, so the signal should be green. Excellent. Into into I in in its stall in its stall cal calibrations complete. It's great start, but today's class isn't over yet. Now, time for some basic testing of the logic function. Just follow the sequence we agree on. Red, green, red, green. Red, green, red, green. Oh, wait. Red, green, red, red, green. What kind of string thing is that? Now, you gotta touch the box or bug in a certain or. So the kid can tell if you're following the rules. Signal. No. Recognition. Reforming cognition, building rules, and executing judgment. That's the red, green, red, red, green. Red, green, red, red, green. Red. Okay, box is red. The bucket's green. So red, green, red, red, green. So, 
box, red. Bucket, green. Red, red, green. Red, green, red, red, green. That's right, completely correct. After running a series of commands, Grace finally announced that the cognition system has been successfully calibrated. Great job! Well done! The cognitive commands have been recorded with precision. <sighs> my only regret is that my little cutie Eos couldn't make it here today. <sighs> the whole point of setting up this scheduled maintenance was an excuse to see that roly-poly kiddo running around. <laughs> Grace, you've made that quite obvious. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Vivia. How's life train you? All right. The controls have been sufficiently calibrated. Now I'll perform a full reboot to test the effects. I'm doing okay. A full reboot, huh? Hope it's not going to lose control again. No problem. I'm fully prepared. I've dismissed all the onlookers and kept the kids fueled to a minimum. And Bellabog Industries has updated their health insurance recently. Uh, you have accident coverage, right? Why am I not feeling reassured? You seem fully prepared for things to go wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a professional technician mm, and I've got everything under control. Yeah. Let's get started. And I don't think this can do much unless you're doing the arcade game, but yeah, this is not Jory solo. And free to play. Christ taps the control panel a few times and the heavy machine bass blurts out the complex strings of electronic sound before staying up in a more upright position. Very well. The control system permissions are operational. Let's start the first cognitive command test. Go five meters forward. <laughs> Command unfulfilled. Repeating command. Go five meters forward. The mech remains standing still. That's strange. Why isn't it following my commands? Unless. So what other unless games it are really playing stream? Broken? I do. Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Honkai Star Rail. Kingdom Hearts. Just whatever I'm. And move for. M maybe a Born Eye sometimes and Kingdom Hearts and etc. And maybe Tears of the Kingdom. I've yet to finish that game. Danger! Bell, get behind me! Thank you for following. The battery in my control panel is dead. <laughs> no wonder this kid's been so quiet. It wasn't ignoring I my play commands. Since bit, I couldn't receive them. A little them. bit of NF false alarm. S, Resident Evil, and a little bit of S C. Okay, I do play Halo, but I can't do online because I don't have the life. I used to, but I just don't have the funds to have both a the Switch online and PlayStation. I mean, and the. Uh, I'm losing my train of thoughts. How long have you been streaming? <sighs> In about less than five minutes, it'll be two hours. <laughs> I propose that we ban Grace from ever touching Eos again. Agreed. And all the other bang boo at home. <laughs> All time. And I stream two times and I just stream when I can. Majority is like between two and four hours. I need to get a backup power supply. Keep an eye on this kid for me, would ya? Its cognition systems are still fragile, so don't provoke it. And don't let anyone get close to it, including yourselves. Nice, keep it up. Thanks. I have to get back to the store for a moment. Be careful, okay, Belle? Then the only thing that can be heard around is the low tarum of the heavy machine base running. 
The test size mess. Let's help Grace tell you why we're here. So what's your game from game all time? I kinda like them all equally. It's just sometimes I move focus on one like Pokemon or the new game. And just doing some of the dailies. This one pocket short story and looks heavy. Moving it turned out to be hard work. After some effort, they are successfully moved. Move this bucket even is more of a challenge. It is a bit harder than you expected. You need to include more physical activity alongside gaming and work. Mine is Resident Evil Village and Crash Bandicoot, hands down. Okay. Thanks. Ka. Beep beep. That sound. Is the heavy machine base? Let's go check. Uh. We weren't supposed to come near it. I can already tell this is gonna go south. The heavy machine base continues to produce insecurity noises. Right then, the sound of conventional footsteps accompanied by a familiar voice reach you. Oh, I do strange as well. I'm wondering if you'd be interested in any sort of custom artwork for, chan for the channel. I like I do all 2Ds and 3D stuff. Hope you don't mind me asking. I have a company website as well. If you're interested, you can send me s some of my... I can send you some of my recent corner Discord. Mm, I'm good. Thanks. Don't panic. The cognitive unit hasn't received any input commands for a while, so the machine's just running a system diagnostic. Betty? What are you doing here? Hmm? hmm? Have we met? How do you know me? Uh, Grace told me about you. Hmm. Okay, no worries. <laughs> ah, uh-huh. I see. So you're the Iron Witch's apprentice, aren't you? Which is why you're keeping guard here. Why is the system diagnostic showing such a strong likelihood of startup? Could it be? She's saying that the um mechanic you cross paths, but before strands up the me machine's face. Hmm. Hold on, Betty. Grace said it'd be dangerous for outsiders to get too close. Outsiders? I'm an expert technician. Her machines usually have a soft reset button placed at the back. If I'm able to get there, I can... Uh oh Oh, no need to be so paranoid, you scrap heap. I am here to save you. Once she draws close enough, they basically dodges and darts to the rear panels of the mech, slapping a button hard. I knew it. There was a repeat air loop during the self-diagnostic. Onboard memory was getting sapped, so a soft reboot did the trick. <laughs> it's all because of her. Insisting on the stupid logic core is what has caused the problem. <laughs> logic core? <laughs> What's wrong with it? The logic core is a precious technological breakthrough that grants mechanical creations the ability to have independent consciousness, potentially even enlightening a machine enough to pass the forbidden fruit test and be truly endowed the soul of an individual. However, this kind of technology is not required for production tools like industrial machines. I admit that the efficiency and work capacity of Bellabog's heavy machinery are superb, but the cost of production and maintenance is going to be out of this world. Unfortunately, buyers on the market love pursuing these unnecessary and uncontrollable gold-plated features, so the industries followed suit and started researching personality tools. Hmm. Well, let me ask you, if you want to make an axe that chops wood faster, will you equip it with jet thrusters, AI systems, and a voice that yells at you, Master, Master, every time you poke it? Whoa, a jet axe? I'd like to see that. Hmm, 
You're the kind of person who still watches cartoons even though you're grown up, right? What's wrong with that? Listen up, apprentice. Tools are just tools. Their value lies in being easy to get, easy to use, and easy to replace. Use them while they're good, and chuck them out once they're broken. Personifying or putting them before humans is heresy. And that's exactly the type of person your teacher is. She's mastered new applications for personified operating systems, and in doing so, has grown contemptuous of humanity. She's just a weirdo obsessed with tools who gets things backwards. Okay. Base speaks with emotion and slaps the heavy machinery base beside her with a laugh. How is it moving again? H hang on, stop right now. I was being careless just now, not hostile. Uh oh. Ah! Abort startup. The burner voice stops the heavy machinery base. Causing it to return to standby mode. Huh. That was a close one, but luckily I caught it. You, didn't I say not to provoke this kid? Mm -hmm. Betty, what are you doing here? Uh, <clears throat> yep, yeah, nothing. Just uh, here to inform you. Three Gates Corp has officially recognized my company's application for tech cooperation. And, well, only one of us will be granted resource support on the evaluation day. Be forewarned, Grace. I see. Oh, well, thanks so much for passing on the message. If there's nothing else, I'll keep tweaking my little problem child, okay? Oh, yeah. And as for you, thanks for your support today. I'll give you a call when I need a hand next time. You can head off now. Having said that, Grace quickly walks over to the heavy machine base without looking back and focus on her debugging work. See that? Something might have happened just now, but she clearly cared more about the machine than her own apprentice. That's the cold iron witch I know. But it's fine. I'll soon let her know to never take people lightly. Nobody seems to notice the sound coming out the phone. It's Bay's pocket. External day of download complete. Welcome back, Belle. You seem to have something to say, did it hasn't happened? So Belle and Grace had an argument over their differing views on machines. It's a shame I wasn't there to witness it. According to Grace, she might have contact us she might contact us again before pressing conference. That should be at least that should be at least last contact unless something unexpected crops up. And uh, that we can sell the commission fee. I have to admit, I need you to know more. We, sh we should definitely dig into Grace Pass while the opportunity comes on. I'll keep an eye on the group chat. While we wait for Grace, you can get back to your daily tasks. Thank you for your hard work. So that was it. Okay, this one requires a fight. One day after you help Grace adjust the machines, you unexpectedly see a familiar figure on 6th Street. It's Grace Comparator. Bay Brenda. What's she doing here? You need to share this news with your sibling. What's Bay doing there? Street CCTV TV image for Retrieved. She appeared to be talking to an officer. And judging by her body language, one, they were engaging in a heat discussion, two, they were clearly arguing, suggesting bear 
Leap Grace Hogwarts Commission. Master should learn more about this conversation. Why do you suggest I go over there? Where was your goal here? I just really want to know. AI has the right to gossip, too. <laughs> I'm a fairy on this one. Go listen in, Belle. Hmm. She thinks you're Grace's apprentice, anyway. So there won't be any trouble. Okay, I need to know what's happening, even if it's just for the sake of gossiping with my sibling. I can make sh I can make sure the main point is safe. How many times do I have to repeat this? Are you Grace and Brenner? What are you doing here? One sec. Bay whispers something to the officer again, and then turns around. So what brings you here? Does the Iron Witch have a message for me? I'm just asking by. And you got way... You got way better manners than your master. Fine, there's actually no better time for you to be here than now. I happen to have a message for your master. She already lost this bit. I completed my research and already submitted the result to three... Three gates for review. We soon hold a presentation to demonstrate my result. On the first to hit the target, go back and tell your master she's welcome to attend the presents. I post the address on the Knock Knock Business channel. Make sure she checks it. Our, our long time rivalry is finally coming to an end. Don't let your master run away from the ending. Please tell her what I said. See you soon. Faye turns and leaves as soon as she finished speaking. Well, you finally back. Here, have some more, and tell me everything you know. You share Bay's message with your family. That's unexpected. Not only did Bay complete the technical research early, she also invited her rival to her presentation. Also, can't wait to see them bite each other's head off. Very please don't be like that. Like those netasized netizens on the internet, and Belle, we should text Grace and tell her about it right away. Grace, are you in? I'm not here. How are you replying to me then? Quit failing around with those children of yours. We got some key intel for you. She bragged about it, how she won the win, and she put together a meet and greet with three gates wraps. She asked Belly to give you a twin. The address at knock knock business. Hang on, let me see. It's somewhat strange. What's that? The address is for the mean green. It's inside a hollow. Oh, inside a hollow? Yeah, a companion hollow off the illuminate hollow is an oak structure. Guessing base technical milestone has some. Could you stop going so fast? I'm guessing Bay's technical milestone has to do with the Marit Guardian Max of Perth. Maybe she would mean the all of those wraps inside the hollow to give up the shrimp. I hate it when it does this. Maybe she's meaning those wraps inside the hollow to give a demonstration of this foul power. One of the three three departments from Three Gates Corp is military. If their tech cooperation is based around military tech, that makes sense. Wanna go to the mean great grace? It's up to you. Yeah, let's go take a look. It'll be a big loss for Bellbot to miss out. To m miss out on this bidding. This bit. Knowing your enemy isn't always the worst thing. Besides, we can't check it. Check out this new tech in the action. Could I count on you two t for investigation? Let me know when you're right. Whenever. I'm right whenever.
Ready and waiting. Nothing to feed. One so It's our turn, bro. Awaiting further and need something. Touch me. Standing by. Team Lightning's on the scene. <laughs> Following Betty's navigation, everyone is finally brought to Betty's location. Besides her stance, the modded Guardian MK2 technical mech. You're too slow, Iron Witch. Betty! I'm already warmed up. Introducing the new tactical mech. Upgraded for CoreLogic OS. Witch Hunter Alpha. Come on, demonstrate your might to our guests. Commence offensive maneuvers at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. What? Member responds in clear human voice and instantly performs a complex array of tactical motion. It seems similar to that mech Grace was debugging. Oh, what's wrong, Grace? Hard to believe the personality OS you were so proud of has been replicated by someone like me. A cheaper, more productive, and easier to deploy modular personality OS! The maintenance costs are half what you pay. There are none of the whole stability or personality disorder risks you fretted about. Didn't the market applaud your tech patents? They'd always say only someone who loves tech as much as Grace could achieve this. <laughs> the cold and withdrawn Iron Witch. A weirdo who treats machines like people. This black magic you've been researching for so long, cracked just like that by me. Ooh. Before I mean the machine completes its tactical maneuvers before returning to Bayside. Task complete. I suggest switching to auto defense mode. Is that okay, Master? Go ahead. Its intelligence system is crude, but I like its gumption. Approximately one millionth as professional as me. Enough, Fairy. Don't add fuel to the fire. Belle, how is Grace doing? Uh. Don't worry. I doubt it's as powerful as the machine you trained. That voice is so lovely. She gave in so easily. But somehow, I'm not surprised at all. Eh, figures. It responded to the voice command and executed the instructions without any redundant movements. And the steering mechanism's brake nozzle is gorgeous. It only listed one default command when recommending actions. And still so immature? I love it! Oh! <laughs> Enjoying it? Why are you admiring your rival's work? Mm, this kid looks really good. Grace, don't put your foot in your mouth. It's your rival's mech. Uh, yes. I don't like it yet. You claim to have replicated Bellabog Industries' patent, but I won't buy it just like that. I'll believe it when I see this kid show us a little more. Show it to me. Right here, right now. Best if you let me take it apart myself so I can see better. This is getting weirder and weirder. I agree. Why would I let my rival disassemble my work? But, well, you do have a point. It does? I'll have Witch Hunter Alpha accompany you to demonstrate the difference in technological achievements. I've uploaded the coordinates of Three Gates' meeting place to Witch Hunter Alpha's memory. Enjoy its company and appreciate its skills along the way. Really? Thanks! Uh, but this doesn't mean I concede. I'm starting to worry she might side with the enemy. This is the meeting point Betty mentioned. I didn't expect this kind of company. Prepare for combat. Let's go.
Tough ones to me. Standing by. Woohoo! Want some help from my babies? Planning is an ultimate. Oh well. I hope nothing happens when the three gates reps arrive. They proudly showcase her masterpiece, following her command in an enchanting mech's name, which under Alpha D difficulty takes this position, guarding Grace. Today about the powerful enemies in the hollow. Upon hearing a warning, the proud mechanic of bursts into laughing. Ha! <laughs> These small time either are there no match for the all my witch hunter alpha. How will you demonstrate its power? Betty points to specific location. This is where I'm scheduled to meet up the people from Dre the Dre Gates Corpse. I'll I'll allow which one Alpha to accompany you there. All right, Witch Hunter Alpha, enable escort mode. Take out the ethereals up ahead first. Orders received. Suppressing with force. That was fast and so accurate. Don't praise your rival. Oh, <laughs> I am just getting started. I'm not move. I'm not gonna move to all that's over good. Warning: units with high ether activity detected ahead. They are likely strong enemies. A direct confrontation is not suggested. Scanning for a suitable detour. High risk ethereal slow. Commence and annihilation. It just sped off. Witcher High Hotel speaks with a smooth, sen synthesized mechanical voice, seeking your evaluation of whether it's accurate aligned with you. Feedback saved to data table. Detour route cancelled. Warning. The area ahead contains many unfinished buildings. The path forward is blocked. Strategy modification is required. Scanning for a suitable detour. Uh, is it trying to force its way through? Now that's surprising. Hmm. Can everybody hear me? 
I've decided to give you a special demonstration of the long-range firepower of Witch Hunter Alpha. The personalized operating system I built is more precise than your version, Grace. You can command it effortlessly. Witch Hunter Alpha, destroy hostile units ahead. Open fire! Target locked. Awaiting orders. Careful. Guarded missile launched. Huh? It missed. No. It's still... <laughs> so you could tell. Right? Now, correct. It can identify the best target to strike. Eh, uh, I... Interesting. Re relying on Witch Hunter Alpha's superior firepower, mo mobility, and response speed, the group soon arrives at the location Bay has provided. <sighs> We're here. Good timing. The Three Gates reps and public security will arrive shortly. How about it, Grace? Willing to admit defeat? <sighs> I'm willing to admit this kid is indeed a superior mech. With strong firepower, good mobility, and responsive controls. A weapon well suited for mass production. When I first encountered it a few days back, it didn't have the personality OS installed. I never expected our patent to be reverse engineered to such an extent in such little time. Mm, uh, I finally got to see the day that Grace admits defeat. Ho <laughs> ho! Not just yet. I have a question to ask you first. Ask away. It's not a question for you. It's for the kid. What? Grace approaches Switch Hunter Alpha, now in defense mode. And when its targeting system illuminates her, she says, Witch Hunter Alpha, how high should the driver's seat be set? I have neither a cockpit nor a seat. Your question does not make any sense. What if you were to suggest a seat height? What would it be? Nothing over 140 centimeters. <sighs> After listening to Witch Hunter Alpha's response, Grace experience suddenly grows serious. She quickly leaves the mech, delivering bypassing the target assisting Deso. Seat height? What kind of question is that? Betty, shut down Witch Hunter Alpha right now, or uninstall the personality OS. We need to take it out of the hollow ASAP. <laughs> what nonsense. I have no idea how you've gotten your hands on it, but I'm certain your personality OS is plagiarized from the data frame I've deployed in our prototype. Oh. Hey, no need for such ugly accusations. Resorting to this all because you can't admit failure? Just because you asked a useless question, you're now accusing me of plagiarism? 140 centimeters. That was Coleta's height back then. Huh? The former president of Bellabog Industries, Coleta's father and my mentor, Horse. When he finalized his prototype, he calibrated a specific seat height so that his daughter could pilot it from the get-go. That height was directly embedded into the logic core. Ooh. <laughs> On the way here, I realized Witch Hunter Alpha's thinking patterns were similar to those of our kids. I was suspicious if you used the same data framework. The answer to this question has finally convinced me. Dang. Only our prototype, a Bellabog Industries mech, could know this by default. Because my sweepy gets mad if the seat is set too high. How... You and your venomous slander! That's just a coincidence! You know deep in your heart it's not. Listen to me, buddy. The logic core data from the prototype hasn't had comprehensive troubleshooting yet. There's still lots of corrupted data that needs stripping away. Hmm. Using a copied framework means it's also contaminated with corrupted data, and we've already been inside the hollow for over two hours. This kid is at risk of losing control at any second. Why would... No way. You're lying. I won't be tricked. Really? Still not giving up. Fine. 
Here's another task for Witch Hunter Alpha, then. Translate this. Red, green, red, red, green. Red, green? Now what are you up to? Box, bucket. Box, box, bucket. Huh? How, how are you speaking in unison? Oh, it is plagiarized. Because this is the cognitive command code I installed when I debugged my kid. Wake up, Betty. Turn off Witch Hunter Alpha right now. Betty stole the data while we were troubleshooting. Warning. Hostile behavior detected. Initiating self-defense mode. <laughs> I know you're just bluffing. Go, Witch Hunter Alpha. Get rid of this trickster witch. The sharp frame of the tactical McMoose holding high its heavy cannon. Oh, huh? And targeting its own mechanic. Betty, watch out! Hostile target locked. Commencing pursuit. The targeting system ch chases non-existent enemies, and which are out to plunge into the depths of the hollow. Proxy, let's go after it. Lost control. After it! Soul, right? Hurry up! Has it stopped? <laughs> I've updated the target for the guidance module. You're just a machine. You dare defy me? This is your... What? It dodged it? Witch Hunter Alpha, enough now! Do as I say! Stop! Was, 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 I, 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 <laughs> oh no, it's in the top me. And looks like we're have to fight.
Your shift is over. Blast power test. <laughs> Commence demolition. Warning. Increase in engine output detected. <sighs> Very well then. You forced my hand. Now, set the explosives along its current trajectory. Warning, fire control system and onboard weapons have been damaged. Entering attack mode. Uh oh. The target's hull has been damaged. Ether activity is steadily increasing. That's no good. We're not doing enough damage to stop it. Oh my gosh, how could this happen? Betty, what now? Any contingency strategies? You're asking me? Of course I'm asking you. You're that child's mechanic. Uh, you know it inside and out. Think about how to solve this problem. The logic core is already corrupted. I, I can't command it. Pull yourself together. Now's not the time to be pessimistic. Careful. The mech's attacks are growing in intensity. Are there any software vulnerabilities we can exploit? Any hardware damage? Contingency protocols? Module defects? Think! Quick! Run. What's that? Run! Just run! I, I admit it. I plagiarized your data framework. I just built a simulation layer over the top of the base structure. I... I don't know how to deal with this situation! Let's run! Our weapons aren't enough to deal with it, and it will only get more dangerous as it corrupts! So, what about your mission, then? What about the Three Gates reps? I'll, I'll explain things to them and let this crazy piece of metal fend for itself. And we can still call up the HIA to come take care of it. What kind of joke is that?! I've never heard Grace roar like that. So scary. But why can't we run away? Anyone with common sense would do the same. We're facing an experimental weapon that's out of control, and our only control <laughs> tool is broken. That's it. Let's leave things up to public security or the HIA. It's totally reasonable. I know what you're thinking. You just won't give up on that mech. You want to save it like it's a person, but this obsession with machinery is fanaticism. Why are you making me stay with you? Enough with all your nonsense. Leaving problems behind for someone else to handle. You're just shirking your obligations. You're that child's mechanic. It's your responsibility to deal with it. Run away? Have you thought about how many other people would be risking their lives because you neglected your duty? She does make That's a good point. Betty's screwed experience gradually collapsed beneath the anger of Grace. Rebuke. It takes her a few seconds to squeeze out the never crying answer. I, I... I don't know what to do! <sighs> Hand over the control panel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Take back control. Take back control of the logic core while it's being corrupted by ether? How? You said that you only built an emulated control layer, right? If the central control system and mech command are carried through the emulated control layer instead of direct authorization from the logic core, then there's still a chance. 
But that would be almost impossible unless some magic happens. <laughs> Frosty Cold Iron Witch. Huh? Isn't that the name you've been mocking me with? If you need some magic, don't you need a witch on your side? Your shift is over. Initial impulse. Maneuver. Our time to shine, bro. Roger. You rang. Have a couple more. Hi. Guy. Its main control system's damaged. Now's the time. Betty, give me the control panel. What? Here. Cut autonomous order percentage. Switch permissions to G44. Ceasefire control radar module. Change power distribution to manual. Restart energy pump. Ah, uh, too slow! Uh, it's logic core is out of control. We won't make it! Is the soft reboot button in the middle of its frame? Yeah. Wait, you want to try a manual reboot? Uh, are you out of your mind? Uh, isolate and disable weapons. I... it's done. What? Uh. Uh. <laughs> what a good kid. Welcome back. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome.
only 25 off. Lovely. After a short while, Pupsack Force worked together with the weapon ex expert from Defense Forces and disposed of the Witch Hunter Alpha. Yikes! I never expected those Pupsack agents to come so fast. I didn't get a chance to appreciate that kid's insulation coat as much as I would have liked. What a texture, despite all the battle damage. <laughs> Grace, you're awesome! <laughs> Looks like Grace isn't a machine maniac with a screw loose. Her wealth of professional expertise just shows in unconventional ways. <laughs> hey, that was rude. Do you think it's easy being a corporate technician like me? Especially considering how young I am. As an apology, I'll let you give me this cute little thing to pet. I mean, research for a few days. We'll never hand Eos over to you. Everyone comes down, the three case corpse reps pass by with chest bill looking young girl. Betty. <sighs> Brenda! If you want to laugh at me, be my guest. I've got nothing to say. Great job constructing that emulated control layer. Huh? The voice print conversion command was so good I almost got fooled. <sighs> Even though the incomplete data framework caused lots of operational errors and low efficiency, there's still lots of room for improvement. If you're interested in personality OS research, I can give you some sample data from our prototype. Of course, you'll have to wait until your suspension is over and you've regained your mechanics license. <sighs> I lost completely thoroughly. <sighs> Good luck with your technical collaboration, Grace Howard. Yon mechanic follows the marching units out the hollow once more and just a second. Her back seems to be just a little bit strength, Shreyer. You're still willing to give her sample data? Proxy, have you heard of horsepower as a unit of measurement? It indicates how many horses would be required for an equivalent output of force. Industrial machinery usually has a horsepower of several hundred or several thousand. Don't people are just the same. An industrial machine can save dozens of engineer teams from hollow related danger, and a tactical mech can save <sighs> several combat squads like the from having to face ethereal. Next month, early. And me? Actually, I can't say that I simply love machinery. All I'm infatuated with is the prospect of saving humans from getting ruined inside the hollows and sparing their families all the suffering and grief. I may have destroyed many times the machines that my peers, indirectly or otherwise, have. So that's really why I'm a witch, you know? Even if it makes me cry out in sorrow, I still have to send these kids out there to face fatal threats. But, if there were more witches like me in New Eridu's future, just a few more people willing to care for these machines and shed tears for their sacrifices, well... Maybe these kids would be more willing to forgive us for what we expect of them. Grace takes the heavy machine's face back with her for a checkup and repairs. Now finally wraps up Grace's commission, I should talk to Eos, take Eos back to the shop and take a break. We don't often get used to such a cool side race. 
Turns out Frosty Cold Ice Witch isn't a degrading nickname, but an honorable title. Also, no one gets injured in the end. That's a relief. Indeed. But I'm curious about what you think. Should tools be tools? Should we get attached to them? Be it'd be nice to- If we are nice to them, so that it'll be easy for us to give up on them later, does that make us kind-hearted or heartless? I don't know either. Hmm. It's indeed difficult to pick a side. After all, people must have something they firmly believe in their choice. Anyway, this this commission has finally came to an end. So let's run so we're fast and get back to our routine. Alright, we're just done and the even is just locking in. Okay, I got enough. Okay, I got enough. Search. Please beat the gold. I'm in 50 50 range though. Pleasure to work with you. Proxy. <laughs> Welcome. Get her twice. Come on. If you ever find yes! yourself in trouble, I'm here to help. Yes, I won the 50 50. Okay, I don't care about the rest. God, genuine. Ready and waiting. Nothing to fear. The cunning heroes are here. Okay, I got the full E6. Well, technically, that's make the second E6. Well, uh, I should say C6. I have. Need something, officer? I'm at your. Huh? Is something the matter? Fortunately, I don't have any. Wait a minute. I think I look. I have something special for you. He hasn't had to grind for you offline. Huh? Is something the matter? Well, there's no telling what the next update would be, but. Hmm. Heck. Heck, this one, I'm just glad I got her before it was too late. And I have, like, what? How much time? Both 24 hours. Okay, so at 5 becomes. Okay, so. So basically I have tomorrow till 3 p 3 p.m. in the afternoon tomorrow for this reason. I'm guessing that's when the update will come. I think I'll stream that day after. But I think I'll get back to streaming later. I'm gonna end this here. Finally got her! With that being said, thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Elva Dragon, signing off. Take care, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.
and the rest of your week. And stay safe. Bye!